new Cardi Kaizoku video. Need a watch? Cardi Kaizoku. This video is sponsored by Card Market, Europe's largest online marketplace for trading card games. Subscribe to Patreon every day. These deck breakdowns are meant to be used as a way to hit the ground running and see how a particular deck or game mechanic functions without having to spend the time learning it yourself. This is not meant to be a perfect be all end all list, but 80 to 90% of the cards in my deck breakdowns are core cards with the remaining 10% being like tech cards that you'll need to put in your deck for your own local metagame or your own spice to make the list truly your own. But now that we got that out of the way, it's time for the OP07 Boa Hancock deck breakdown. We're on to blue. It's been a while. So Boa Hancock, so Boa Hancock is a utility leader and there's no like Amazon Lily package for the deck. We do run a seven warlords package for this version of the deck. Boa is kind of like a tier two ish kind of deck. It's not up there with Red Purple Law, Enel or Kekomoria and it might not even be up there with Bonnie and Black Yellow Luffy and Luchi, but it's somewhere around there. Not too far behind, a lot closer than you would think. Probably still a competitive deck to be honest, but yeah, let's take a look at Boa Hancock, the leader card. The so Boa Hancock is a mono blue leader with 5,000 power and five starting life. Her leader ability reads, during your turn, once per turn, you may activate this when a character leaves play from one of your abilities. If you have five or less cards in hand, draw one card. So leaving play means either bouncing back to your hand or even bottom decking or even KO. But we don't run any KO effects, it's mostly just bottom decking and bouncing. Nothing in this deck really is like specific to being a 7 Warlords leader. But yeah, let's take a look at the deck list. 3 EB01 Edward Weevil. A new 7 Warlords card, it's 4 cost 6k, no counter. But on play you do draw a card so it replaces itself. There's a combo with this Weevil and uh, another card, new card Jinbei, that makes it so that it's worth it to play a card like this. It's one of your strongest like mid game plays being a vanilla stat line and drawing you a card. But in the late game, this card can brick your hand. So we do only run three copies. Three felt like a good number to me. Cause again, he has no counter. Three OP01 Dracul Mihawk, nine cost 9K. On play, you can place up to one character with a cost of seven or less to the bottom of its owner's deck. We have Mihawk, blue deck, makes sense. He's always gonna find a spot in blue decks. And then yeah, his ability to bottom deck at seven cost does work with your leader ability allowing you to draw a card if you have 5 cards or less in your hand. So in a boa deck, you get a 9k body out, you get a bottom deck something, and you get a draw a card. Makes it a lot better. 4 OP01 Don Quixote Do Flamingo. So 3 cost 4k blocker. It lets you rearrange the top 5 cards of your deck on play, or if you don't like those 5 cards, you can put them on the bottom of your deck in any order. This just provides you with some consistency on your next few turns. And it's a 7 Warlord card himself, so yeah, it synergizes with some of the other cards in the deck. And a blocker, blockers are nice, especially in this current meta. 2 OP05 Kaido, 10 cost 12k, on play if your opponent has 3 or less life cards, draw 4 cards. Yeah, even though our leader ability does draw us a card when we remove something on board, we do need this Kaido sometimes to just refill our hand to extend the game just a little bit longer or find us some answers. This card is especially devastating against slower like stall decks like Enel or uh, Boa Mirror. The Boa Mirror almost devolves into who can get the most Kaidos back to back. But against aggro decks, this card is completely useless, so we only run it as a 2 of because we don't want it to clog our hand when we don't need it. 2 OP06 Charlotte Pudding, 4 cost 4k. On play, your opponent returns all of their cards in their hand, and then shuffles their deck, and then they redraw a new hand of 5 cards. So this is a pure tech card, that's why we only run it as a 2 of. It's not a 7 Warlord, so we can't search it or interact with any of the other 7 Warlords cards, but it is quite necessary in this current meta with the way that things are shaping up. With Enel and Black Yellow Luffy being two of the top decks in the meta, and they are decks that historically go pretty high in hand size, right? They draw up to like 7, 8, 9, 10 cards. Playing this pudding is really devastating against them. It makes them, it makes them reduce their hand size back down to 5, getting rid of a lot of their stall potential. It's even great in the mirror too. If your opponent played out a bunch of Kaidos, you play pudding and make them lose all their Kaido value. They'll still have a 12k on board, but at least they won't have the counter to defend it. Or OP07 Crocodile. 4 cost 5k, 2k counter, a new 2k counter in the 7 Warlords type from OP07 is on play, lets you pay a Dawn to bounce a 2 cost or lower back to its owner's hand. To be honest, I've never actually used this effect, so he's just a 2k counter for me, or like a 5k attacker. 4 OP07 Jinbei, a new 7 Warlords 4 cost 5k, 
This one is what makes the deck have a strong mid game though, because on play, you can play up to one other 4 cost or lower 7 lords card from your hand, other than another Jinbei. So yeah, you pay for it on and you get to have two 7 lords out, two 4 cost bodies out. The best thing to play on your like 4 dawn turn is to play Jinbei into the Weevil we mentioned earlier. Because on top of getting a 5k body out, you also get a 6k body out and a card draw in hand. So yeah, Jinbei is a great card to keep in your opening hand. For OP07 Sengoku, 1 cost 2k power, we get a 1 cost searcher and the 7 warlords type, but the searcher itself is not a 7 warlords. But yeah, it lets you look at the top 5 cards of your deck, reveal one, put it into your hand. This gives us something to bottom deck with our 6 cost bow Hancock to, I'll, get, I'll go over that in a second. But yeah, just having a 1 cost searcher does increase the consistency and then lets you like thin out your deck a bit. For OP07 Trafalgar Law, 4 cost 4k, 2k counter. What this card does is activate main, you can return this character back to your hand. And then if your opponent has 6 or more cards in their hand, they put one card in their hand back to the bottom of their deck. So yeah, just a super high utility card for this kind of deck. So not only is he a 2k counter, but he's also a 7 warlords card that you can cheat out with Jinbei or something. Or you can bring it back with the Gekko Moria. And he's a 4k body, so you just need one Dawn on him to attack. And then, especially for a Boa deck, his activate main lets you bounce himself back to your hand. So it does play with your leader ability. It counts as a card leaving the field from your own effect, so you, you do get to draw a card. And if your opponent has 6 or more cards in hand, they drop a card. So it does all that packaged into one card, makes this a really good card for the deck. For OP07 Boa Hancock, 6 cost 8k but no counter. On play, up to one of your opponent's characters other than a Luffy character. Cannot attack until the end of their next turn. Then you can place a 1 cost or less character on the field back to the bottom of its owner's deck. So yeah, this Boa card is great for stalling. You play it on curve, your opponent has one less body to attack back at you with. It only affects characters though, so their leader can still attack. But yeah, regardless of that, it's still just a, like a vanilla 6 cost 8k. And then one synergy you have with this Boa card with your own Sengoku is that you can just bottom deck your own Sengoku. And that counts as a card leaving play from the field for your leader ability to draw you one card. So more often than not, if there's no other good targets on the field, you just bottom deck your own Sengoku. But if your opponent has something juicy to hit, like a starter deck Nami that can use Rested Dawn, hit that instead. And at the end of the day, it's still an 8k swing on your next turn. And she's a 7 Warlord herself. For starter deck 3, Gekko Moria, 4 cost 5k, 1k counter. What he does is on play, you can add a 7 Warlords or a Thrill of Bark Parts type character with a cost of 4 or less other than another Gekko Moria from your trash pack to your hand. If we're running the 7 Warlords package, we need to run this card. It recycles a bunch of our 2k counters. Another strong Jinbei play, if you don't have a Weevil in hand, is to is to counter your opponent's first hit with a 2k counter, with the Law or a Mihawk or something like that, or a Crocodile. It's basically a free counter because on your next turn, you can play Jinbei into Gekko Moria and then take that 2k back to your hand. For starter deck 3, Dracul Mihawk, a 4 cost 5k 2k counter. What he does is, if you attach Dawn to him when attacking, you can draw 2 cards and trash 2 cards from your hand. So this is the tried and true package from like way back in OP01 when Starter Deck 3 just released. You play Gekko Moria to bring back your Mihawks. But in this deck, since we play Jinbei and stuff like that, we can actually get Mihawk out pretty easily. So his when attacking does become a little bit more relevant than it was before. Helps you cycle your hand, find your Red Rocks, find your Gravity Blades, find your Kaidos. So yeah, still a 2k counter at the end of the day too, so really great card. With the uh, worst art, <laughs> it's like uh, anime art behind like a... Uh, those cringe like button up fire t-shirts. You know what I'm talking about, right? Okay. Two starter deck 12 Charlotte Pudding. Two cost 2k power, 2k counter, twos all around. What this pudding does is on activate main, you return this character to the owner's hand. So for most intents and purposes, this is just a 2k counter. It's unsearchable by the seven warlords package, so it can be a little clunky, but it provides some utility for your deck specifically as a boa deck because the activate main does count as the card leaving the field. So in certain situations, it's just a two Dawn draw one card that you can use as a 2k counter later on. So just some slight utility there. That's why we only run it as a two of though. For our events package, we run three OP04 Gum Gum Red Rock, six cost event. It lets you bottom deck any character. It even has a trigger that lets you bottom deck a four cost. So yeah, this is just a for sure surefire removal on anything that might be giving you some trouble. Cause yeah, it does hit any character. And being a 6 cost means you can chain it with another 4 cost 7 warlords card in your deck, so gives you some like 10 dawn plays in the very late game. 3 OP06 Gravity Blade Raging Tiger. 
A 7 cost event that lets you place 2 6 cost or less characters in any order on the bottom of their owner's deck. This also synergizes with our leader ability. And it's a good equalizing tool, getting rid of 2 bodies in the mid game. This does slow down decks like Red Purple Law or Enemy Boa Hancocks, decks like that. It's especially devastating to Bonnie's too, getting rid of like a Uruj and a Cavendish. And it also has a trigger that lets you bottom deck a 5 cost as well, that's 1 cost higher than the Red Rock. This one's a little more clunky to fit into your 10 down turns as like you can really only play like a blocker Doflamingo after or a Sengoku Searcher or just have 3 down to attack with your leader but yeah it provides you great tempo in the mid game, mid late game. Here are some cards to consider, just one card actually, it's the OP04 10 cost Kaido. 10 cost 12k and then on play you can bounce a 8 cost and a 3 cost back to hand. So yeah while it does synergize with your leader ability, I just found that like while this does have its uses, it's a tech card. It's a legitimate card that you should consider just for the general metagame. I felt like this card sat in my hand more often than I would like. Right, it's good against certain types of decks, but then but against decks that don't play an 8 cost, this card just clogs your hand up. You don't have a way to get rid of it. Because while that other pudding, the 4 cost pudding, is a tech card as well, it at least has counter so we can use it. This one doesn't. So yeah. I guess if you find that there's a lot of 8 costs in your local metagame, consider this card, but otherwise. I found that I didn't like having this card in the deck. For starting hands, you'll want EB01 Edward Weevil, OP01 Don Quixote Do Flamingo, OP07 Jinbei, Starter Deck 3 Gekko Moria, and Starter Deck 12 Charlotte Pudding. I'd say the priority is finding a Jinbei. Jinbei lets you play out two bodies, and then the best Jinbei targets is either a Weevil to draw a card or a Gekko Moria to bring back a 2k counter you use early on back to your hand, which is essentially drawing you a card, but yeah. Gekomori has 1k less power than Weevil. And then Don Quixote Do Flamingo is good if you're going first, as you'll have something to play on your 3 down turn, otherwise you just swing for 8. And then having a pudding early, when you're like countering aggressively, lets you refill your hand if you need it, as it's just a 2 down return back to your hand and draw a card, basically, for your deck. My bad, I somehow forgot about Sengoku. Sengoku is a good 1 down play, and it's good to play it before you play your 6 cost boa, as it gives you something to bottom deck with that boa potentially draw you a card with your leader ability. And this does help you find your Jinbeis or your Weevils and other 7 Wallards in your deck. So be sure to look for this in your opening hand too. The strengths of the deck are highly defensive. With this kind of deck, you're pretty much encouraged to use your counters pretty early as your leader ability can help you refill your hand. So chucking 2k counters to defend really early is no big deal for this deck at all. Especially with cards like Gekko Mori that can recycle them back to your hand. You do end up pretty healthy for most of the game. You really only lose when your opponent can develop a board that you can't really handle in the late game or if your opponent like turbo aggroes you down early enough. But yeah, in a mid game battle, Boa Hancock pretty much reigns supreme. Especially with cards like Boa Hancock, the 6 cost one that can like outright stop a character from swinging back at you. Card advantage. But basically this ties into my last point. With cards like Gekko Moria bringing you a 2k counter back from your discard or cards like Jinbei playing out an extra card from your hand or and cost Kaido drawing you 4 cards, and basically anytime you bottom deck anything, like getting rid of your opponent's character, you can draw a card from that if your hand is low enough, so it almost feels like you never run out of cards in hand. And even if you do, you have that 10 cost Kaido to refill it. The weaknesses of the deck are board wipes. So in the mid game, we do flood the board pretty easily and we build our advantage off of that, but cards like Gravity Blade Raging Tiger or 10 cost Kaido or even like uh, Rob Lucci. Cards that can get rid of two or more cards on field do hinder us quite a bit. And then if your opponent is able to swarm back against you, it's really hard for us to do anything about it. Because in the late game, all of our answers are like single target focused. Mihawk gets rid of only one body, but if your opponent is playing a bunch of kid and killers that can swing for seven, there's not really much we can do about that. Boss monsters. So yeah, Mihawk can target seven cost or lower, anything other than that. We really need to depend on our red rocks, finding our red rocks to handle it. So this means cards like 8 cost Gekko Moria or like 10 cost Ace, 8 cost Katakuri, 8 cost Kid, cards like that are hard for us to deal with. You can tech in the other 10 cost Kaido that bounces an 8 cost back to hand, but yeah, that handles 8 cost, but it doesn't handle the uh, 10 cost Do Flamingos or 10 cost Ace, as I mentioned earlier, or even your opponent's Mihawk, 9 cost Mihawk. Because of that, if your opponent's deck depends heavily on those kind of characters, it can be hard for you to deal with it unless you draw perfectly into your own answers. So that is my Boa Hancock deck for OP07. 
The deck is fun. I like playing it. I like the Seven Warlords package better in this deck than it is in a Blue Doe Flamingo deck. But honestly, I feel like there should be an Amazon Lily package for this deck just to make the theming feel better. Because um, a lot of the Seven Warlords are kind of ugly and you're playing it with such a pretty leader that, I don't know, it just kind of doesn't feel right to me. But that might just be the uh, Coomer in me speaking. So if you don't really care about how these Seven Warlords look, just ignore what I just said. It's a fun deck, so give it a try on your own. Uh, onto the gameplay. Yeah, Boa versus Ace will go second. Let's mulligan this. Oh, at least we have Weevil. No Jinbei though. They passed me too. That goes for 8. We're gonna have to take this one. Bring it number 5. Ooh, we have Kaido. What does Croc do again? Bounces at 2 cost. Okay, they took our 5. We'll play Weevil and draw and pass. Rearrange our hand. I bet us we'll counter for one. And Marco. Olo. I just bottom deck him now. Nah, we'll do Weevil or Leader 5. No, they might have triggers that kill. Weevil 6. They counter 2, Leader 5. I guess they could. Uh, no, they can't. Flame Emperor next turn. That's 8 Dawn. Okay, they. Discarded a Radical Beam to counter for one. That's what he can do with his leader ability, by the way. This, they haven't updated this ace card. I might have to manually do it. Because <laughs> it's always just poor Gaz, the ace. Play Boa. Marco can't attack. Right, because the images I'm using is like a... They're all like fan translated cards, I think. Compiled by somebody. I forgot his name, sorry. <laughs> I always credit Batsu, but I never credit the guy who puts the images in the sim compilations. Okay, Izo picks up a 9 beard and 6k at Weevil. We'll counter for 2. Like Swanky or Swinky? Something like that. 6 at him again. Counter for 2. Alright, how about 8 Boa at Luffy? Die. How about. Well, they have 9 beards. Maybe I should save my Red Rock for that. What do I do against his Marco though? Uh. Uh. 1, 3. Five left over. We'll just do six. I think he'll take a six. Never mind. He countered. We'll do leader. Leader five. Finally, take. We'll play Gecko. Get 2k back. Play Weevil. Go into a Jinbei. So I should have played Weevil first. No way. I could have known that. Six at Weevil. We'll counter. One. Nine beard, attack for seven at Weevil, we'll counter two. Okay, we will bedrock the new gate, draw. We'll swing a bunch of swings at Marco, six at him. Two, Echo six at him. Two, we will six at him. Two, pull eight at him, they revive. Oh, he dies for sure, we're good. Ooh, he's 7k leader. I guess we'll play Doflamingo, but uh, I don't know. Pass. I kind of have what I want to play in hand already. I at Gecko, sure. I need board space. We have to play 10 shanks to kill our Boa. I wish I had my Red Rock. We play Kaido and draw. Oh, we will 6. Take, we will 6. In that case, I should have bottom decked everything with Doflamingo because I didn't want anything from, from the search I got. 8 or 5. Counter 1k with an event. We'll play Kaido. Draw 3. Pass. Draw 4, I mean. Sorry. Play Mask Deuce. A Ace Pirate Searcher. They jet pistoled our Weevil. 12 into the Weevil. I forgot to block. I wish there was a way to go back one step, one phase. I bet Us, we will counter one. No blocker, we win. So play your blocker, Marco. Ooh, Izo attacks for five. Take one. Bottom deck for fun. Mass deuce. Do Kaido 12 at leader. Play he concedes. He left by a b -b boa mirror. Ooh, this is a good hand. Keep. Pass. They get to Jinbei before we Jinbei, though. 
Did they play Kaya? Okay, our decks are a little different. And the Sengoku as well to pick up a Gekko. Get something I can counter with. Perfect. Back for 8. Pass. Oh, they take. We'll pass. We counter and then Jinbei Gekko. Yep. Back us for 5. We'll counter 2. Play Jinbei Gekko. Bring back a Croc. What do you know? I'm going to do the same thing. The leader 6. Counter 2. Jinbei Gekko. Bring back Mihawk. Pass. And they play 6 cost Boa. And then I'll play my 6 cost Boa. It goes for 5 though. Counter 2. 5 we take. The meter 5 we counter 2. Yeah. Boa. Bottom deck to Sengoku. The bottom deck to Kaya. But the bottom deck to Kaya. Tricked me. It will do 5 at Jinbei. 1. 6 at Jinbei. 2 will play. So, uh, you can't attack, and you bottom deck, and I draw. Pass. Play that gecko, counter one. Play that gecko, sure, you have it. Six at us, we will take one. We got a red rock trigger, I think. I clicked past it by mistake, but I think it was a good idea to keep it. The gravity blade are bored, though. Alright. I wish I had a gravity blade. We boa again. Stack 8k into something. 8 into Jinbei or Gecko. Oops. He died. We'll play Boa. You can't attack, and then that's it. Let's hope they don't have a end drop right now. In which case, this matchup just came down to who drew the answers before the other. Jinbei 5 will counter 1. Oh god, it's a 10 Kaido, isn't it? Leader 5 will counter 1. Draw Kaido. Oh, and I draw my draw Kaido. <laughs> what the heck? 5 at Jinbei. Yeah, I don't want my Boa to die. Oh, but he probably has some removal for it anyway, so might as well kill Jinbei. Then we'll play our own draw Kaido. Oh no, he's at 4 life, so I don't get to draw. Quick. It will red rock Kaido. We'll draw, and then we'll play Weevil. Pass. And kind of make him take a life. I bet us counter one. Eat at Boa, we counter two. Hope they don't play another ten Kaido. Eat at Boa, we counter two. We just have to find a pudding and make them. <laughs> okay, yeah, they play another one. Okay, let's find our pudding with our ten Kaido. We'll do six up their leader. I think I just counter out of all this. Yeah. Play that leader. Boa, we'll eat that leader. They took it. Thank you. We'll play Kaido. Wrong pudding, but you just need to find it with this blocker Doflamingo, I guess. Make them lose seven cards, please. I want to do that so bad. My two copies. Jinbei and Tegako. Even if we die, I want to make them lose cards in hand. Half his hand. That is my dream. Eight at Weevil. Oh, they red rocked our Kaido too. Uh, I guess I can save this guy. We will. Because okay, they're going to kill Boa with their Kaido. Yep. Let us be counter to play Doflamingo. No pudding. Uh oh. The Red Rock. The Hawk. Have one Don D. Five at their leader. Counter. Weevil 7. Dang it. I don't get to live out my dream. But yeah, I think two two Kaidos against me is a death sentence for me. We'll play Boa. The Kaido unable to attack. That's it. Eat uh, to Weevil. You got it. I bet to me. I bet to me. We counter two. Bet to me. We take third Kaido. Are you kidding me? Where's my pudding? Well, bottom deck to Kaido, draw. Do 12 at Boa, they can defend this actually. Do 5 at Jinbei, they can defend this actually. Pass. Okay, 5 at us, we counter 2. 5 at us, we take. Uh oh, yeah, we die. Would die. 
every match. You just needed one pudding to turn it around. And you wouldn't give it to me, we'll go second this time. You work with this. Give this in, Goku. What you picking up? What you taking? What you got there? Fuck it out. We'll pass. You're gonna swing at us for 8. Or 5-5. Five, five. Just 5. Counter 2. Just 5. We'll take 1. Okay, Gravity Blade's gonna be good against them. I bet Sengoku. Take with Jinbei into Gekko. Take back our Mihawk. Pass. Six at us will counter two. The Jinbei into Croc. I cannot Gravity Blade just yet. If I swing, he can swing back at me. I'm on the countering that, at that point. That's fine, because I can just Gravity Blade after. So, Doflamingo. It's a Doflamingo turn. So Gekko, six. Duck. Bay, six. Duck. Leader, six. Counter will play Doflamingo. So here's a pudding. Do I need it? Yeah, let's just have it. Something like this. Pass. Right, we have what we're going to play for the next few turns anyway, so just fill our hands with tech and 2k counters. I bet Jinbei. Jinbei the bro. Jimbo. Let him die. I bet Gekko will counter two. Six that Gekko will block. Then Boa. Okay. Cell meter six at Jinbei. Guys will Gravity Blade. You two. Bottom deck will draw. Pass. We can Kaido. They're at three life. This is exactly the last game but mirrored. Right? I even Gravity Bladed the turn before. See how you like it. But maybe he'll find the pudding and make me lose half my hand. 6k at us. We'll take it. I probably should have countered and stay at 4 life to keep him from using his Kaidos, but... Okay, he's making me have to bottom deck a card. Bottom deck a Mihawk. Okay, Jinbei to play out the law again. Hmm. Did we get 5? Counter, leader 5. Shouldn't have kept the pudding there at low card hand size this time. The Kaido though. We'll pass, and then we chain into another Kaido. Maybe they get to hit us with the pudding, they get to live out the dream. They did counter with one of them though. Two of them. Does he, does he play a third one? Okay, they use Law again. We'll get rid of... I don't know, Jinbei? Probably a mistake. Five at Gekko will counter. Two. Five at Gekko will counter... One. We're gonna play Kaido, right? I bet Gekko will counter one. Yes. Okay, I can put in three cards. Is that enough of a power fan power fantasy for me? Do five at Jinbei. He dies. Five at Jinbei. He lived. Four at Jinbei. We'll do another Kaido. I want to know what it feels like. We'll pass. I hope he plays the second one. Please, please play a second one. Okay, 5 at Gekko. So far, so good. No Dawn used. All that us, we'll take that. Play it. Do it. Please, I want to play this pudding so bad. Uh, Jinbei into Law. Dang it, he tricked me. Okay, well, Red Rock there, Kaido. We'll do Gekko 5 into Leader. And one. Leader six. Two. Kaido twelve. Dang it. He's denying me of my pudding dream no matter how which position I'm in. We'll play the flamingo. Put a bunch of 2k's on top, I guess. We'll pass. Oh wait, how did they get rid of one of our Kaidos? They red rocked? Yes. Maybe they have another one. Let's uh, organize our cards. Okay, another red rock that handled all, both of our Kaidos. And Goku. And my gravity blades. I have two more, I think. So we'll play Doflamingos to find it. We have Boa. They can't play this turn, though. Five at Gekko. We will counter two. Five at Gekko. We'll counter two. 
seven at Gecko will block. Bring the law back. I guess we don't need Boa. They're making me lose more cards in hand than they would. Did I just play the pudding now? Yeah, they have the law back in hand, right? Screw you, I'm gonna make you get rid of it. Then we'll play Doe Flamingo. Put Gravity Blade on top. We will swing. Six into Jinbei. Or two, and then we'll swing seven into Jinbei. Guys will pass. We only got them to lose two cards with our pudding. So sad. He made us lose like three or four cards with their law. <laughs> it should have been me. Okay, they gravity bladed. They do a flamingo. I'm gonna gravity blade next turn and get rid of these two small guys. I guess I don't have to. Five at us will counter. Two. Yeah, we'll save it for a rainy day. Well, Mihawk, a flamingo, draw. I'm putting attack for five. Attack with the leader for five. Does he not run Mihawk? Okay, they countered both. Attack are putting for five. Counter two. They play Kaido, that's not good for us. We'll do putting five. They counter, leader five. Counter, Mihawk nine. Take, we'll play another Mihawk, bottom deck, Sengoku, draw. Pass. Five at Pudding. Better die because I need counter to save my Mihawk, I think. Pull that Mihawk. Counter for four. Another Kaido. And then just hope he has enough counter to outlive my three attacks. Oh, they red rocked one. Let go, bring back a 2k. Shoot. So if I cannot finish him, he kills me. A gravity, a raging tiger, uh. Whatever, I'm tired of this game. I'm just gonna split and hope for the best. So what, this 24, I can do 12-12? Pretty sure you can counter out of that, but... Just tired at this point. <laughs> 12, they take. Another 12. Oh no, he didn't have it. Woo! He bricked. I probably should have just counted the 2Ks in his graveyard. This card. Okay, bye. We have Red Yellow Sabo versus Boa Hancock. I should say mine first. Boa Hancock versus Red Yellow Sabo. We'll pass though. They play Bello Betty Searcher. They whiff. Uh oh. Play uh, Starter Deck Nami. Gary. We'll do Leader 6. They take. We'll play Pudding and then bring her back to hand and just flex it, I guess. Just to show them that we have a 2k. I'll be honest, I thought I get to draw, but I forgot that I'm at 6 cards in hand. <laughs> okay, Lindbergh. I put Rest It Down Leader, attack for 6, we will counter for 2. Right. We Down Leader, attack for 6. We take, we'll play Jinbei into Weevil and draw, pass. Lindbergh gets around. I can KO at 3k or less, I don't have any though. Lady into a Morley. They're not playing the uh, Kikunojo version of this deck. Good on Lindbergh, attacks us for 7. And uh, too steep to counter out of this. Maybe we take. Oh, they play uh, Koala, so they can KO Weevil with Lindbergh. Take that. And they'll do 7 leader with the Nami Rested Dawn. Yes. This one we can counter. Oh, they put Lindbergh back on top. Buff Bello Betty. Back for seven. Counter added this one. The three. All right. I can bottom deck the Nami with my Boa. Trigger out the Lindbergh, but they do have to discard to trigger him, so that's fine. Leader five. Trigger it. Okay, they trigger in. Trigger in the cat. We'll do six at their leader. Right, because if it's another, if it's another koala or like a Gordon or something, then would have regretted not attacking. Okay, so they took. They're at one life. We'll play Boa. Then Bird cannot attack, and we'll bottom deck Nami, and we'll draw. Pass. That's a pretty good turn. Yeah, Red Rock. In case of any shenanigans we don't know about, what can they play? Another koala, but Then Bird cannot attack. Oh, but koala can attack. Sure. Not worth it to save him anymore. 
He's a 2k. He can still put Limber back on top with leader ability, actually. So yeah, that's 2 Dawn, and they'll have 4 Dawn left over. I am at 9, so I can Mihawk it too the next turn. Okay, so that's 2 Dawn on Lindbergh, Dawn Leader to activate leader ability, 3 Dawn left over. I don't think they have anything to play, right? So they just attack us for 9. Let me see your hand real quick. Do I have to get rid of these koalas? It might become an issue later. So they heal. Oh, Betty, I guess they can make Betty an attacker. Do that. Betty 5 will counter 2. Peter 7 will take. Pass. Why Mihawk here is the question. I get them to trigger the Limburg, then I'll Mihawk it. The leader 5. Yeah, I have the counter to stop their small hits. Get Limburg. It is triggered out. The Boa 8 at their leader. They go to 0. Up the Red Beam. We'll Mihawk the Lindberg so they can't heal with it and we'll draw. Pass. So if they do want to heal, they have to put like 4 Dawn on this Koala. Do they oh no, they can't because Koala only costs 2. Sabo needs a 3 cost with 7k power or more. Maybe I'm Gucci here? His gears must be really turning. <laughs> He's thinking out all the possible lines of play here. Yeah, one thing that's kind of hard about making these videos is I'll tell like pretty funny anecdotes and stories and jokes in like videos in, in footage that I can't use in the end. I disconnected. I'll finish my story then. I'll, I don't know if I'll include this or not, but yeah. I have like a funny story that I tell in one of my videos, but it ends up like being a bad match that I can't use the footage for. So I like waste <laughs> my stories on those. So I don't know. I have to think of a way to work around that. I don't know, would you guys like to hear the funny stories even if the gameplay is bad? Anyway, for now, uh, this guy left, so bye. Yeah, Bo versus uh, Booty Boy. Booty Boy. We'll keep this. Did I say Booty Boy? Hey, Sengoku, I ruined my joke already. I'm so ashamed. Guess we'll take Jinbei. Pass. I call him Booty Boy because his ass is uh, pointing towards the viewer here. They play Prince... what was that guy? Prince Bullet. Okay, they bounce it back to hand to ramp. Uh, I guess we will swing 5 with Sengoku. Take. Peter 5. Pass. Is it annoying that I pronounce the names like the Japanese way? Like, I, I'm not even consciously thinking of it, it's just natural for me to say it that way. Instead of it like Sengoku. Same with Katakuri, like everyone says Katakuri, but I don't know. It just doesn't sound right to me. Because like Katakuri means um, potato starch, Katakuri ko, right? So I, since I know what his name is like a pun on, it's weird for me to say it the wrong way. Katakuri. Uh, they play Duval and then Ivankov into another Duval and they bounce Ivankov back to ramp. Okay. Uh, not sure how his deck works, but we'll just play as if we know what we're doing. The leader 6. Okay, they counter 2k, we'll play Jinbei. J Jinbei is a Japanese word too, it's what he's wearing. Uh, Jinbei into Gekko. We'll pass. I can't call him Jinbei. Is he called Jinbei? Jinbei? No, I guess it sounds the same in either language. A Perona lets them rearrange. So they've rearranged three times now. Ivankov into Bellet Belay. I'm gonna assume it's Bellet because there's two T's. Then they swing nine at us. We'll take. They've got a full board. What does that mean? They bounce Bellet back. So they're gonna be at 10 next turn. So scary stuff is gonna happen, right? See Jinbei 5. What can I do with this croc? I can bounce at two costs. I think I don't want to bounce any of these because it helps him like activate his deck. Uh, another Gecko 5. I guess we'll do like Jinbei into Doflamingo. Jinbei into Dofla. Ooh, late game, right on time. Because we're going to be at 9 Dawn next turn. So let's put something like that. Probably don't need the 2k. We'll leave it at the end. Down leader, swing 6. I'll play out this pudding and then bounce back to hand and draw. 
2 dawn draw a card if my hand is low. Okay, and they're at 2 life. I forgot what life he was at. I was too busy narrating my own turn. I guess if I say like Sengoku and Katakuri, I should say like DOFURAMINGO! But... but that, one, that one sounds cringe for some reason. I don't know like why it sounds cringe for some and not for the others. Ivankov into Inazuma. And this Ivankov attacks for 7 and he knows what's on top of his deck, right? He picks up a card that I can't see. 7 at Jinbei, sure. Then meter 5. At Takeko, we will counter for... 1. Okay, this Inazuma lets him draw. But he has more than 2 cards in hand, so no effect here. So I guess we just Mihawk this Ivankov. We have Kaido though. It bounce two things back to hand. No, that's Mihawk instead. It bottom decks. So he doesn't get it back to hand. Mihawk onto Ivankov? No. Inazuma has a persistent effect, so we get rid of Inazuma. Draw. Wait, what am I thinking? <laughs> Getting rid of Ivankov. Moria 5. They do have two blockers up. They block Jinbei 5. Yeah, I would have thought that Hanyaba would do like an impulse down deck, but I guess he wants to try something out like unconventional. Oh, I guess no, Ivankov is in pull down. What am I talking about? It's not the Jailer Beast variant. Okay, they did a lot of countering, so I guess we'll pass. We only have 5k counter. It's still a lot. They do play the purple stage. Just no Jailer Beast, no Sadi. They whiff on their stage. That's not a good sign. And the three costs. Oh, it's the same one that they've been bouncing back to hand. Yeah, I guess if you play it this way, you do swarm the board pretty easily. So 7 into Gecko. Let him die. And what? 11? 10? Into Jinbei will block. If we bottom deck this... No, he's going to bring it back to hand, so I can't remove his source of uh, potentially playing new cards. Oh, he bounced the 7 cost back to hand instead. Alrighty. Um... I guess we Mihawk again. Mihawk onto the 3 cost. Jinbei 5. That 7 cost Ivankov has no counter, so... If he takes this, the other card has no counter either. Okay. Sign. Bang uh, Hancock 6. I was gonna call her Bangkok. Or oh, Bangkok. Counter 2. Mihawk 9. They block. We'll pass. Wait a second. Hoa oh, Bangkok? That's really funny. Alright, uh, I'm gonna copyright that. That's my joke. Don't steal it. You heard it here first? Probably not, but I don't know. That's the first time I heard it <laughs> for myself. Okay, uh, what did they do? I don't know. A bunch of things just came out. They played four characters this turn. Bounce putting back to hand. Then attack us for Jinbei for six. We'll counter for two. I mean, I think we have it, right? Oh, yeah, you can see it's. Okay, bye. We have Boa versus Uta will go second. How do I handle 8 cost kid? Kaido, right? We'll keep this. I think we keep any hands that we have Jinbei in. It's such like a good mid-game card. A new Genesis into a Nami will play Sengoku. Uh, ooh. I can't take Red Rock though. I guess we'll take another Do Flamingo and we'll just keep cycling top 5 until we find an uh, answer for 8 cost kid. That goes for 5 though. We'll counter 2k. Play the Nami and pass. I can't get rid of it just yet. Peter 5. They'll take this. Yep, we'll play Jinbei into Doflamingo. Okay, we have some answers here. We're at 6 next turn. Take a 2k and then Raging Tiger and then yeah, like that. Does that sound good? Sounds good to me. Okay, they attack with Nami and draw. I guess we don't need the second Daffy anymore, so we'll just counter one. We have a Red Rock in hand, I don't really need Kaido. That goes for six, we'll counter two. Having two answers isn't a bad idea either, right? Okay, they play Uta, then they discard to untap Nami. We just bottom deck Nami then. Yeah, let's do it. Bottom deck Nami, and we'll draw. In Bay 5. Counter one, leader 5. Take, we'll pass, they're at 7. Oh wait, I sh probably should have saved the red rock for Luffy. Right, because Raging Tiger can't hit it. It's okay, I'll get rid of Uta and the second Uta he plays from the Luffy. 
Okay, they backlighted our Jinbei and attacks us for 6. I guess we'll take then. Our first life. Okay, Brook into Usopp. I guess we still Gravity Blade here. So we'll Gravity Blade, Uta and Brook. Draw. We'll just swing for 6. Counter 2 will pass. Alright, we're ready for Kid. Oh, they don't have Kid. 7 at us. Take one more. The so Luffy's out. Oh, Brook into Uta into another Usopp, maybe? So they backlighted our blocker. Back it for 6, sure. Fine with me. Hmm. I guess Mihawk's the play. Mihawk the Uta. I'll need her attack 6 into Usopp. Oh, they conceded. Rage quit it, didn't get their 8 cost kid. I guess uh, that's just how it goes. <laughs> Alright, bye. Cardi Kaizoku.